Nate. This is Angie. And we have just watched Out of the Furnace, starring Batman, Tallahassee, Last King of Scotland, and the Green Goblin. Angie, what are your thoughts on Out of the Furnace? I don't even know where to begin. I don't even know where to begin. I guess I'll start us off then. Um, well, for the last, it seems like, five hours, we've been watching this movie, getting quite, uh, feeling quite good on some, uh, some hard cider and vodka, and we've been watching this movie for quite a while. I gotta say, I want to say I like this movie. I want to say that I love this movie, even. But I've just been sitting here so long watching it, and I'm thinking, it really didn't need to be this long. No, nothing really even happened. It just uh, it went on forever. <laughs> it just, I think that's the, the main problem of this movie. The characters are really good. I love Christian Bale's performance. I love Woody Harrison's performance. Oh, my goodness, he was, he was great, you know? Not a comedy role at all for him. Not anything I would really expect from him. Great performances all around. But the movie is so damn long. I could not keep my eyes open. I, I could not stay interested in it. I couldn't even tell you what even really happened in the movie because nothing really... Like, I could sum it up with, like, maybe two sentences what happened in the movie because, really, it was... <laughs> I don't even know. It, it seems like they stretched what should have been maybe an hour, an hour worth of movie. It's, I don't even know how long this movie is. It might not be as long as we think it but is, but it felt like it was at least it, like a three-hour movie. It feels really long, and I mean, I want to comment on on the performances. The performances were all great. Christian Bale was great. Woody Harrison was great. Forrest Whitaker. Was I wish he was not so great. It, yeah. I feel like his could have been better. He felt like a glorified cameo, almost. Like, yeah, they didn't really need him. Anyone could have played his role, but they got Forrest Whitaker to play random cop number one. What? It didn't make any sense to me why he was playing that character. I mean, I get Christian Bale, I get Wooden Harrison, they're great actors, and they're playing main role. I mean, that's the main era. Villain, Forrest Whitaker playing random cop number one, didn't make any sense to me. No. And I think another thing that really put me off to this movie was the conclusion. Spoiler alert for anyone that hasn't seen it and for anyone that actually cares. But the conclusion of this movie wasn't very satisfying. No, it wasn't. Like, I waited this whole, like, I thought it was going to be some huge climactic ending and it was. I got nothing. No, it, <laughs> there was nothing in the end to make up for sitting through this freaking long movie. There was no payoff at the end. Christian Bale just kind of smashed Woody Harrison in the face, and that's it. It's just really anticlimactic. There's no, there's no payoff at the end, and for a movie this long or at least for a movie that feels this long, there needs to be a satisfying payoff, and there isn't one in this film. Well, I mean, there kind of, kind of is. I mean, he, you know, gets what he was going for in the end of it, but not in a big to-do. Kind of. I guess it's satisfying for him. In the movie. Yeah, not for us. But for me, watching it, it's just kind of meh. I don't care. And this, this is the kind of movie that military people like myself will nitpick like crazy because I, his, his brother, his, the whole point of the movie is his brother gets involved with Woody Harrison who runs like a gang or something. And spoiler alert, again, for those who actually give a damn, he gets killed by Woody Harrison's character. And so Christian Bale has to go out and avenge his death, whatever. Um, but yeah, his, his brother supposedly is in the military, he served many times in Iraq, but he didn't come off as convincing in the least bit. And this is coming from someone that spent five years in the military. I don't believe for a second that this dude was actually in the military at any point in time. It, it, it just seems like this Christian Bale's character is what people in Hollywood 
Hollywood. No. Christian Bale's brother's character is what people in Hollywood think will be people like. And they didn't bother actually talking to anybody and asking them what, you know, military life is real life. Because, oh, he's been to Iraq, he's damaged. But at least they didn't, like, touch on a whole bunch of, like, they just said he was in the military, but it's not like they tried to give you a whole bunch of information that is untrue. It is true. I'm, I shouldn't nitpick, but like I said, when you're in the military, or at least when you've been in the military like myself, you tend to nitpick aspects of movies that deal with the military. You tend to think, wait a minute, that doesn't make any sense. And Christian Bale's brother's character didn't make any sense. He says, oh, he's damaged. What has the country done for him? Well, it's done a lot for you. Yeah, but some people who are in the actual situation, though, who, like, suffer PTSD, do probably feel like that. Or they do feel like they sacrificed way more for their country than what they got back from. I mean, granted, that really doesn't have much to do with this movie, so I think we're kind of a little off topic. Oh, yeah, we're a little bit. I'm, I'm, I was just bringing this up as an observation to say that this dude seemed like the cliche, quote-unquote, damaged soldier returning from a war instead of an actual character. I mean, don't get me wrong, there were parts when he was in that I really did like his character, but the, quote-unquote, damaged goods portion of his personality were a bit heavy-handed. So, Angie, after sitting through five hours worth of movie, what would you give out of the furnace? That's hard. Okay, for, I guess, overall for the movie, uh, I would give it, like, a 2.5. But, like, the characters, I would give a higher rate, like a 4. Yeah, I really love the characters. I love the visual. Visuals, I can't even speak right now. The only thing that really drags it down is the length, and it drags this movie down. It's not even the length. It might not even be that long of a movie. It's just that it's like nothing really happens. Like I can't even tell you what happened for all those hours. I don't even know what they did with the time. Exactly, and I I want to like this movie more than I do, but at the end of the day, I'm gonna give this movie a three out of five. It is crazy how similar our ratings always are. I just just a quick disclaimer, we don't talk about our opinions before doing this. We just happen to agree a lot on things, which is weird. All right, well, this is Nate. My name is Nate. And this has been Nate and Angie Watch a Movie. You have a good one.